Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and on my channel you can expect brutally honest reviews and thorough content where you really get to know the products and tech that I'm reviewing and testing and I always seem to get some really fun products and today I'm testing the Gladius Mini which is a 5 thruster mini size underwater drone. This unit is crazy, it has 2 hours of battery life, it has a 4 camera and it is a true underwater drone so in today's video this is going to be an unboxing and just a first test in my swimming pool and then throughout the week I'll be testing this in some really interesting locations so make sure to come back to the channel to keep up to date with some of my future tests with this really cool unit here I will have a link in the description below to check it out on Amazon if you're interested but let's get into the unboxing and first test As you dive deeper into the box, you'll see that everything is sectioned out beautifully. The first thing that I touch here is your sole. The second thing is the remote control. And it feels really nice, it's extremely responsive. They then also have this modular piece that you can install whether you're in seawater or in fresh water. Then you have the attachment pieces to allow you to mount a tablet or a phone on top. You then get the base station, which is kind of the brains of the operation. This thing relays information between the drone and the unit itself, which is connected through your device so it's a very interesting system it's almost like a hotspot for your device that then connects to the drone with a physical connection just so everything is communicating and then we see the beautiful drone the Gladius Mini look at this thing it's beautiful it has a massive 4k sensor on the front here with two really nice LED lights as well that you can adjust their intensity and then you have the tether and the spool and this unit basically relays information between the drone and the base station to ensure that you have really good connection between the devices. The Gladius Mini has five thrusters on it and it can reach a top speed of four knots. So you have low, medium and high speed settings. Now this footage here was recorded entirely on the Gladius Mini. I was really impressed with the clarity of the image. It did an amazing job. I also really love how much control you have over the LED lights. You can change their intensity to ensure that you're lighting the subject properly and that's really really easy to do with just the scroll of the toggle wheel on the actual controller itself but the camera can shoot up to 4k and it is a UHD camera so it's a beautiful clarity to the image and overall I was really happy with how the image was actually portrayed throughout this entire test in the swimming pool. Now it'll be really interesting to see how it goes when I test it in some more murky kind of water and also in some water that's probably not as well lit. So I'll be doing some more tests to see how it performs. I was really impressed with how well the precision hovering worked. Now obviously the pool there was no sort of current or movement and it wasn't even windy so I'm really curious to see how it goes in a real world setting but for the most part I was really impressed with the precision hovering. I was really also impressed with how much you can actually tilt the device itself. You have full control to tilt the device up and down to make sure that you get that perfect frame and that perfect angle that you're looking for and another thing is you have the option to depth lock so you can actually lock the depth so it holds that point and it hovers so that was really impressive but again it'll be interesting to see how it performs in a real world situation and not just in a swimming pool. The base station also includes a full HDMI port as well as a micro SD port but the drone itself features 64 gigabytes of internal storage so you don't really have to worry about increasing that but you have the option there if you really want to. It was extremely easy to install the arm onto the controller and overall I was really happy with the build quality of the controller and it was extremely responsive in controlling the drone as well. I was also really happy with the additional Backpack Pro as it fits everything inside perfectly. It has sectioned off areas to put the drone and the spool as well so it's really nicely segmented and it's actually a nice bag that fits everything in perfectly. I found the setup process to be extremely pain-free. It was very easy to update the drone and then it was as simple as placing it in the water and it was ready to go. You unlock it so that it's not set in its locked state 
and then it will literally just start immediately. You have full control from the controller and I picked it up very quickly. It was super easy to pick up. I had no issues and it was such a fun experience. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below, but make sure to subscribe to the channel and come back regularly as I'll be doing a few more videos over the coming days in some really interesting locations. So I'll really be testing the Gladius Mini to its full potential. Let's see what it can do. I'm super excited. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions then drop them in the comment section below as I reply to every single comment. Make sure to have a beautiful day and peace out.